How's it going, Knights fans? Thanks for tuning in for this first ever edition of the FDU Men's Soccer Report. We're joined by the head coach today of the FDU Knights, Seth Rowland, in his 16th season. Coach, uh, we appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today. My pleasure, Gavin. Uh, we want to get right into it. Uh, so far in the season, we're one and one. Started off with a tough loss, a five nothing loss to Stony Brook, and then able to bounce back uh, with a one nothing win over a tough Lafayette team. Uh, so, from we won't want to talk about Stony Brook too much, but in a loss like that, in a performance like that, what, what, what are the positives that you can take from that? Well, the reality of it is it's important uh, not to uh, run away from looking into what went into a 5 0 loss. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, a dose of humility can be a good thing. And uh, it's how you respond to that loss that's most important. And, you know, it didn't go the way we would have liked. We tried playing a certain way and we got exposed mm -hmm. um, and punished for it. Um, we uh, address certain things from our mentality right. to our defensive organization to uh, our focus and made some adjustments um, as far as personnel mm -hmm. in the lineup <coughs> and <coughs> excuse me and uh, you know really felt that we just didn't come out and compete mm -hmm. and we felt it was important to come out and compete and be committed against a Lafayette team that allowed only nine goals the entire season in 2011. And uh, I thought we responded well. I thought we were very focused and determined. And I thought we, uh, we played well also. And we, come, uh, we um, uh, found at least a half a dozen uh, scoring opportunities right. and finally punched one in at the end. And I guess going from a 5 nothing loss and coming around the next game with a 1 nothing win, what does that take? Is that toughness or what, do you, what are the traits you see in your team that allows you to do that? Well, we challenged ourselves after that game mm -hmm. um, and we were very blunt uh, in our assessment of how we played and our, uh, our performance and we challenged the guys t uh, to uh, be more committed and uh, and to be more focused, as I said, and more determined. And I think the guys responded well. One of the things we talked about uh, before the season started was having most of your guys back. Um, but you're also able to bring in some new guys, and uh, Sam Doherty, Yano Bear, a couple other guys, Cornwell. So can you talk about um, their performance so far? Yeah, Simon Doherty got the uh, winner last night, and uh, he's still adjusting uh, to the heat and American college soccer, which is a little different pace and everything than uh, what he was playing in Scotland, as well as a different system of play that we're playing. But, you know, when it's 60 degrees all summer and raining in Scotland, and then you're coming here when it's been 90 and humid, that's a little bit of an adjustment, but he's he's finding his way, and uh, and we think he'll get even better and better. And he's very quick, he's very fast, and got to the ball very quickly with his instincts and speed, and punched it over the line, punched it in for uh, for the victory last night. Um, Yano Bear is is he too is still adjusting and adapting, coming from Norway, where it's certainly cooler. Um, his, his transition has been a little uh, easier. Mm -hmm. um, we think he'll continue to get better and better as well as all of the newcomers, well, we feel. But Jan uh, is already leaving, you know, a big, fit, a big uh, footprint on how we play. And uh, uh, he's adapting well and, and you know, he's, he's got a lot of polish elegance and professionalism to his game right. as well as some bite too so I mean he he competes he competes hard and looking ahead <coughs> uh, you have NJIT on the schedule I know it's a coach that you have a lot of respect for what do you expect to see from uh, the Highlanders when you well Caesar and I are, are good friends and um, uh, you know we will go to each other's homes to watch uh, Champions League games and hang out and we'll 
meet for lunch and just talk soccer mm -hmm. a lot. And he's a, a great guy and an outstanding coach. Um, they'll be, they're already 2-0. Uh, he's got a young team. It's only his second year, and he's already well into turning them around. And they'll be skillful. They'll be uh, very tactically astute. And they'll be very competitive. Well, that's all the time we have today for this first ever edition of the FDU Men's Soccer Report. Until next time, thanks, Knights fans.